Meghan Markle has been described as a two-bit hustler with delusions of adequacy by Julie Birchall, who went on to note that her and Prince Harry have little left to offer as their more lucrative deals have expired. When the Sussexes first left the royal family in 2020 and moved to the US, they pitched themselves as major new players in the entertainment industry, signing deals with Netflix, Spotify and Penguin Random House. However, now over four years on, Harry and Meghan's podcast with Spotify has been pulled, while their latest Netflix projects have yet to match the success of their 2022 documentary series. Harry's memoir Spare was hugely popular, the fastest-selling non-fiction book of all time, but his mudslinging at the firm has led to huge criticism on both sides of the Atlantic. In a comment piece for the Sunday Express Ms. Birchall pointed out that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex can no longer rely on their famous friends to back him up either. Ms. Birchall wrote, What next for this two-bit hustler with delusions of adequacy? No longer really a royal but abandoned by her old showbiz coterie, from Oprah to the Beckhams, and rejected by the new stars, Taylor Swift and her selfies with the Waleses, she is now little more than an amped-up, damped-down reality star, famous for being infamous. The world has moved on. In a bitter twist of fate no one saw coming, the big beast that was the House of Windsor is now a wounded lion, with the serious illnesses of both the King and our adored Princess of Wales. Meghan, formerly the couture-clad figurehead of the victimhood Olympics, stands revealed as the world's biggest cry bully. It's now the Sussexes who look like the aggressors, which is a delightful irony, and one they'll need extremely fast footwork to manage. In 2024 it seemed as if Harry and Meghan were making a fresh start, with news of Meghan's new podcast deal with Lemonada Media and two new Netflix projects in the pipeline. There is also the launch of Meghan's new lifestyle brand American Riviera Orchard to keep her busy, which is set to stock a range of products from dog biscuits to strawberry jam. Her new cooking and entertaining show is being produced in conjunction with her brand, however it is not yet known when the program will drop on the streaming platform. It is also not known when the general public will be able to buy products from American Riviera Orchard, following Meghan's Jam Soft launch in April. The Sussexes remain at odds with the royal family, with Harry set for another prolonged trip to the UK in 2027 when Birmingham will host the Invictus Games. But Meghan may not be joining him as their battle to have their taxpayer-funded security restored rumbles on, with Harry telling the ITV documentary tabloids on trial that his fears for his family's safety have stopped him bringing them to the UK.